Hi and welcome to Toya Creates. My name is Toya Edet. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automatically generate table of contents in InDesign for your documents. One thing to note before generating your table of contents is that it is important that you create styles for any of the items that are going to be in your table of contents. For example, in this document, I have styles that have been created. Let me just show you the pages. It's a book about uh, 178 pages in 94 spreads. So I have um, the Ford, I have uh, chapter one and so on. There's three, four, all the way to about, uh, I think chapter 10. Okay, to about chapter 12. So already I have gone ahead and created uh, styles for um, the chapter titles. So every chapter uses the style chapter title. So let's go back to um, the first page or the first uh, area where we have the chapter one. You can see that the style, when, once I select it, you see that the style is, is also using chapter titled so i go back to the page where i want my table of contents to be so this is the page i want my table of contents to be so what i would do is as simply as going to layout table of contents and since i've already created a table of contents for this one i already have it so let me just uh, cancel out and um, let me take this to the default let me remove this so basically when you come to your table of con uh, contents to generate your table of contents, this is what you see. You see this dialog box with nothing filled in. So I want to start with this uh, TOC style. I can call it TOC because I've already created that. I can remove this and remove this. So what are the items that I want to have in my table of contents? I just scroll and go through till I see uh, the style that I want to include as my table of content item. And in this example, I used um, using the style chapter title. So once I click on chapter title, I click on add. If that's the only item, then I am okay with that. So the next thing I go to, I go to the style. What style am I going to use? And I've gone ahead to create a style for the uh, table of content. So I can just click on TOC um, page number after entry. You can have after entry, before ent entry or no page number. So in this case, I want it to be after entry and I I want it to be pushed uh, to the end. So I, I select this, select this item and I click on write indent tab. So I click on that and um, so entry, I leave this style, I leave this style, just a simple table of content. That's what I'm trying to create. So um, one other thing that you are going to do that's important because down the line, you see why it's important because when you want to regenerate the style, you would have saved your table of content style that you have created right here already beforehand. So I'm going to save it. I'm just going to call it a TOC2 because I already ha have one. So I'll just call it two and I click OK. So the title, I can just call it uh, content and I click OK. So once I click OK, you see that the uh, cursor has text already generated. So I'll just uh, click in that area and you see that I have the table of contents generated for me automatically. And you see that all the items are you know, already uh, selected the, the page numbers are correct. So let's just uh, make sure that that's right. So we go to um, say 153, page 153. Um, let me just drag out on the page yes, panel. I just look at 153. So I just look at 153 and double click and we see that bring it up is what we have in the table of content. So in a situation where we want to change, for example, your editor says that um, certain things are going to change, maybe page number changes or uh, content moves to a different page or the title of say, let's, let's say um, page 95, this chapter where we have speak up, go to 95, just locate 95 in a table of contents or we just um, in our pages panel or we just go to um, this point, we just locate page 
um, 95 where we have speak up we we'll click on 95 and we have speak up so we want to change this to um, say we want to change this to take it up so you see that 95 has been changed let's go back to the table of contents and we see that it remains the same speak up so what do we do to um, add or to update this table of content we just make sure this is selected we go to layout update table of content so once we click update table of content take a look that's very, very interesting take it up has been updated and that's our page 95 so you can see that it's very easy to quickly generate table of contents in InDesign I hope this uh, quick tutorial has been helpful to you. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe because every week I bring you new tutorials. Do take care and catch you in the next one.